Hey, good morning, TNT. Welcome. It's time to share a cup with me this morning. Welcome to A Cup of Joe. I'm Joel Villafano. Foodie Friday. The fun, the food, the flavor, and the friends. All happening here on a Foodie Friday. Your weekend starts right here. And this morning, we get started with another one of our foodie friends. And, you know, perspective is everything. There are so many foodies and food bloggers now doing their thing from their own perspective. And I had the privilege a couple months ago to meet a young lady who has an entirely different perspective that I appreciated because it really just wakes you up in terms of sometimes you take things for granted. Please welcome as I introduce this morning our foodie friend, Jenna G. The Hijabi. Yeah. AKA Jenna Muhammad. I only <laughs> recognize her name was Jenna Muhammad. I thought she was Jenna G. Jenna G. Jenna G. That sounds so. G is your middle name. Correct. Jenna G just sounds so it's, hip and so just fun. Rhyme, Jenna G, but Jenna, Jabby. Yeah, that just. <laughs> so welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks so, for having me. So so glad you you were able to make it here this morning. So Jenna, what we do, as I said, we share some wonderful food that you would have brought for me. Right. But before we do that, I make a drink for you. Looks interesting. Looks interesting. Normally, normally, Jenna, um, I would add some sort of alcoholic content. It's Friday, and you know, we, I would, I would, I would throw in some alcohol somewhere. But this morning, because Jenna, as you know, Muslim, we're not doing alcohol this morning. So I pulled up TrinityCooks.com, and I said, let me look for a drink that is non-alcoholic. And I came up with a cucumber and watermelon spritzer. So good elements: cucumber, some vegetables, cucumber is a vegetable, right? Yeah. Watermelon, fruit. And a little fizz, you can add soda or lemon lime, you know, you that kind of thing. So all these combinations, I love watermelon, I love cucumbers. Combine them. And Come. we have honey. We have some honey for sweetening. Nice. Let's 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 try it. Yeah, it's good. Let's, let's try it. I, I've never made This is lime? This is this is lime. You can do lemon juice, but I have I, I, I have I have lime here. Okay. So let's let's get back. So we add the cucumbers in first. Everything going in the blender. Like last week. I did everything in the blender. This week I'm doing the same. Cucumbers and you get a watermelon. Now the important thing I think with the cucumbers as well as the watermelons is that you de-seed, slice, nice yeah. chunks. Yeah, so we don't want any seeds in there. So you know most of the time the watermelon will have some seeds. Um, so you get out as much seeds as you possibly can. Nice fine chunks. Some had to get away somewhere. You just want to probably about get it about half. Half, half. Yeah. It's like equal watermelon and equal Cucumber. Equal cucumber. Yeah. I'm adding, this will really just freshen it up and okay. add a nice little citrus flavor. So as I said, either lemon or lime juice. You add that in there. And then you add, I'm, I'm, I'm going with about a quarter. This really, I suppose, is the taste. But the recipe is suggesting that we do at least a quarter cup quarter of, cup. of honey. So I'm just going, just about a quarter cup of honey. Just for that little sweet. And that's really simple, you know. As simple as it is there, all you do from here now is you pulse and get this together. Look at that. Kind of important that you blend well. Yeah, uh, because you, I, I'm going to do a strain, but you want it as, as, as blended as possible, as purified as possible. And I think that's it. From here, all I do is through a strainer, I pour. It's a nice color. Nice color. The, the, it gives a nice kind of pink. The watermelon, the cucumber coming together so nicely. How are you looking there, Jenna? Excellent. I think it's my color. It's a lovely color. Yeah. It's a lovely color. Nice. So I have two glasses frosting in the, the freezer that I'm going to get here quickly. Ooh. And all we do here now, Jenna, 
get this out of the way. Generic kind of makes some mess sometimes. That's okay, me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally fine. Your kitchen, your kitchen will be clean and no, and not all no, the time. No, it's in a mess right now. <laughs> and I pour just about halfway up. This looks so pretty. Yeah, it looks good, huh? Yeah. You look like you want some more, <laughs> And as it touched on the alcohol, that's um. Look at these pretty drinks we we without alcohol. Exactly. Without alcohol. So when we go out, you know, we have drinks like this looking all pretty, no. just minus the alcohol. Don't need the Doesn't alcohol. Need so this is just the spritzer. I'm adding soda. The, I mean this natural sweetness here right. it has the honey, of course, the watermelon. So I'm adding soda. You can add, I suppose as I said, Sprite or you know, something like that. But I'm adding soda because I just think this will combine well with the fruity flavours that are already nice and sweet. Energy. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Can't wait to get to speak to this lady. She's brought some spicy food for me, apparently. Ah, it's coffee and pepper spicy. Oh my goodness. Come on <laughs> back, TNT. This is Foodie Friday. This is a cup of joe. We have Jenna G, the hijabi, here with us this morning. We're going to get to know her and share a cup with her. And we're going to eat some fantastic food. This is a cup of joe. Come on.